Utkatasana. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, arms up. A streaky breath. <laughs> Take an inhale, bow forward. <sighs> inhale, flat back, offer your heart forward. And exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, soften your shoulders down. Inhale, straighten your front leg. And exhale, bend into your front knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, palms the earth, three-legged plank pose, left toes float, a streaky breath. Take a deep breath in. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Upward dog, inhaling, lift your chest up. Exhale, stick out your tongue. Inhale. Last one. Inhaling, downward dog. <sighs> Inhale, right leg goes up towards the sky. And exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Lower your back heel to the ground, Vira one. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Square your hips towards the front of your mat, drawing your right hip back, your left hip forward, and then lift your heart up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers together behind your head where your neck and your head meet, and bring your shoulder blades onto your back. Mm -hmm. Breathe up into your collarbones, length in your neck. Keep the length in your neck, and reach your arms back up towards the sky, sparkling out your fingers. Next time you exhale, hands move through prayer. Bring your hands down to the ground by your front foot. And then step your back foot in about a foot for Parsvottanasana. Straighten both your legs and bow over your front leg. You can bend into your front knee as much as your hamstring needs. And then draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. And work your ribs towards your front thigh. Root your back heel down towards the ground. Feel that actually give you space to bring the crown of the head closer towards your front ankle. Bend into your front knee and step forward. Inhale, flat back. And exhale and bow. Inhale, come on up to stand. Sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. Chair pose, bend the knees, drop the hips, arms up. A streaky breath. Take an inhale. Bow forward. Flat back, inhaling, left foot steps back, arms overhead, inhale, exhale, soften your shoulders, inhale, straighten your front leg, lift your back heel, exhale, bend into your front knee, inhale, straighten your front leg, and exhale and bend, inhaling, lengthen, straighten, lift. Exhale, bend. Take an inhale. Hands to the earth, three-legged plank pose, right toes float, a streaky breath. <laughs> inhale, down to the ground. <sighs> Upward dog or cobra, deep breath in. Stick out your tongue. <sighs> inhale. Last one. <sighs> Inhaling. Downward dog. <sighs> Left leg goes up. Step it forward. <sighs> Vera one, lower your back heel to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Draw your left hip back, your right hip forward. See if you can lift your pubic bone up towards your belly button. Lift your chest and then interlace your fingers again behind your head so your neck can get really nice and long. And then lift your breastbone up and lean your head back into your arms. Keep that and then reach your arms back up towards the sky, lining your arms up with your ears and sparkling out through your fingertips. As you exhale, hands to the earth for Parsvottanasana. Step your back foot in about halfway towards your front foot. Straighten both your legs and go ahead and bow over your front leg. 
So traditionally in this pose, your front heel and back heel align. But if that feels a bit constricting on your pelvis, you can always just step your right foot out to the right. It'll give your hips a bit more space. Softly bend into your front knee and step forward. Flat back. And exhale and bow. Come on up to stand. Reach the arms overhead. And exhale, hands and prayer in front of the heart. Chair pose.